Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are going to be talking about three new horror films. Let's get on with the reviews. When was the last time a film shocked you? Barbarian is a new horrifying film from writer and director Zach Kreger. This is his first skinny dip into horror. And what a debut it was. One of the best things about Barbarian is the unpredictability of its plot. Once the first moment in the tunnel happens, you know you're in for a wild ride. And a wild one it is for sure. Barbarian calls to mind films like Evil Dead and Return of the Living Dead where no one is off limits. And the campy fun nature keeps you engaged and wanting more. I can only hope that we get more films like Barbarian in the future. It was definitely a nice surprise. I give Barbarian a 4 out of 5. I wish things would have matched up a little bit more. There definitely are some plot holes, but if you could look past that, you'll definitely have a great time with Barbarian. David Bruckner was given the task to reboot the Hellraiser franchise. I think he did a pretty good job. This film is very different from the original. We follow Riley who comes across the puzzle box and torturous things begin to happen to her and those around her. Visually striking and off-putting, Hellraiser really goes for it. And it really shows with the set design and the new design of the Cenobites. They go for the macabre, fleshy look. The gore is very well done and brutal, but it also looks gorgeous in a horrifying way. Riley is another protagonist that many people won't like. She is a complex character and in the end I was rooting for her. Some of the acting was off with some of the supporting actors and I thought the film was a little bit too predictable. Well, actually a lot of it. But in the end, this was a very solid reboot and a great resurgence for the tired franchise. I give David Bruckner's Hellraiser a 3.75 out of 5. Last, we have Terrifier 2. This is the sequel to the cult classic from 2019. Damien Leone is one of the most passionate directors I've seen in a while. And it definitely shows. This film was made for fans in mind. And it only makes sense because it was crowdfunded in the first place. With that in mind, I was super impressed with Terrifier 2. It toes the line between mainstream and extreme horror perfectly. And it was great that Damien decided to make art supernatural. Terrifier 2 gave me a Nightmare on Elm Street vibes, and that's always a plus when you're compared to one of the greats. Sienna is a great final girl and a worthy adversary to Art the Clown. Now I really like the direction that the story is headed. Oh, and the kills. We get some really fucked up kills here. One that was done almost too well. And I really didn't feel the runtime, only during a dream sequence. Terrifier 2 is pretty awesome and better than its predecessor. It gets a 4 out of 5. This is seriously the most fucked up film I've seen in the theater. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to give me your thoughts in the comments down below and also subscribe. This was Everything Horror. Take care, peeps.